right, welcome back everybody. Um, just uh, getting everything taken out of the box, unpacked, unwrapped, and uh, went over everything of the uh, Vaunt. Um, they did a pretty good job packaging. Um, the wings they could have did a little bit better. Um, but all in all, it was pretty decent. Um, did, did get one small crack in the uh, wingtip because they just didn't they had the um, the wingtip the wing laying against the side of the box instead of kind of keeping it in the middle so it's a little crack um, uh, shouldn't be too hard to fix you know probably just drop some CA down in there and uh, hold it uh, hold it closed um, like I said I've been going over the jet didn't find anything uh, else wrong with it. That's a plus. Uh, um, kind of going over it. first impressions. First Skymaster jet for me. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, it's a it's a good solid jet. Um, very sturdy. Um, paint wise, they're pretty good. The uh, the color I was looking for, they didn't quite match it right, but uh, it's all right. I was going for kind of a lighter, like bluish teal green. They went with kind of like a, almost a, I don't know what, what kind of, it's just a dark green, a darker, kind of almost like a true green. Uh, but it still looks good, kind of Christmassy. But, uh, uh, so, for the, it worked out. A um, couple little places here and there, paint-wise, uh, uh, that were blemishes, but nothing major. Uh, it's a very big jet. I'll say that. Uh, I mean, you look at it online, and you know it's gonna be big, but until you actually get it in, uh, get it in person or see it in person, uh, it's kind of hard to grasp how big it was. Um, so this is kind of the initial start to it. I'm gonna do a build on it. It should go pretty quick. Um, uh, there's not a lot to uh, a sport jet, uh, in my opinion. So hopefully it'll go pretty quick. Um, Still planning to convert the uh, gear to electric. I don't know, it's almost a shame to do it because their gear uh, works so well with uh, air. But I wanted to kind of build this one without any air. Uh, so that's the plan. Uh, unless I just run out of money uh, on the project and uh, uh, just keep it uh, stock. Um, uh, other than that, uh, so far, like I said, I just got it un, um, got it uh, unbuttoned, and I was going to show you guys how everything looks. Get this off here, and there you go. It's kind of hard to get it all in one frame because it's such a big jet. You can kind of see there. They give you a, a hat, so it's actually a pretty cool hat. Looks good, fits nice. Um, cockpit, not too uh, not too keen on their uh, cockpit. Um, whatever they use, as far as the mat uh, material, is very heavy. So I may ditch the uh, the uh, instrument panels. And just use everything else, uh, make my own instrument panels because uh, they're so heavy. It's just wasted, you know. It's unneeded, unneeded uh, weight. Tanks, three tanks. I guess two mains and one smoke. Um, it's a lot of fuel there, so uh, shouldn't have any problem with flight time. Let's see. Take this canopy off. Right, we'll, we'll go to the wings. Let's do that. Oh, the pipe. Huge, huge. I've never seen one that big. As far as diameter wise, it's, it's a big pipe. And I ordered the one for uh, like a mammoth size, 50, 50 ish pounds thrust. I hope that's the right pipe. Because uh, it, it almost looks like it's the pipe for a uh, 75 pound thrust uh, turbine. But uh, I'll confirm that, uh, find out for sure. 
thrust vectoring nozzle, all their hardware package. Pretty good hardware stuff. Uh, I'm gonna drill out the uh, the clunks to get a bigger uh, uh, inner diameter. I do that with all mine, just to kind of help with the high flow stuff. Um, and there's a few items there: turbine rail, uh, pipe mounts, and of course the thrust vectoring servo mounts. Uh, those are the uh, fins that go on the main wings. I'm not going to use them, but uh, got them if I ever want to try them. Who knows? Going here. Wings. Wings are pretty, pretty heavy. Oh, they're actually real durable. And uh, I used a can of air to open and close the the gear, and it doesn't take much air at all to lift those things. Um, very, very springy. Probably will need to add some. Uh, I think they're they use like an oil for dampening. Probably have to put some more oil in it or or air. I don't know what it exactly it uses because uh, those will probably bottom out once the jet's uh, completely built. Um, so, but it's a nice looking gear. Um, if I do convert it to electric, the only thing I'm gonna remove remove is I'll just put the uh, I'll use everything. I'll just be putting motors on and a uh, a pin you know, inside that slides the uh, trunnion. Uh, but it's a nice gear. The brakes are pretty, uh, I was kind of wondering how the brakes were, were going to actually work on this one. Because uh, I've been looking around exactly what kind of brakes I wanted to use. Uh, but it's kind of a push against a wall type instead of an expanding. It just pushes against that inner wall. So, uh, let's see. And Yeah, it's hard to see. But, uh, I can't. I don't know if you can see it or not. But there's a crack right there. That this thing kind of curves, and you can kind of see from the end here. Let me back it out. It's hard to see. You can kind of see it right there a little bit. A little impact point where it just kind of chipped the paint away. A little crack running that way, and then run through there. So, nothing major. Uh, I did get the bags with it. They, uh, they put like a, a spray foam inside to kind of help secure everything. And it got on my bag. I might can get it off, but it's just a simple little bag. One side Velcro's up, or opens up, and they just both slide in together. And I think there's a... I can't remember if there's a yeah there's a little piece inside to keep them separate. Uh, yeah that really ain't gonna do much for you as far as wing tube. <laughs> so aluminum wing tube and two carbon rods for the uh, thrust vectoring. So but that's about it. Not a lot to it. It is a big jet like I said. Take this off here. Alright. Did notice in the canopy, um, you know, the, the cross beams that go over don't really have any glue on them so uh, plus they it's very sparse glue around the canopy so I'm going to go back over and make sure that's really secure uh, that way you don't have a canopy coming out uh, but, uh, nice clean good glue lines they, uh, they do it right which is nice uh, got a place way down there for batteries gear a lot of room <laughs> so nose wheel's got that same kind of it's very very spongy but like I said that just needs to be filled good solid uh, good solid wheels 
but uh, that's it. Um, like I said, I opted for the color change, and I did instead of you notice on the nose. Normally, the color goes all the way down to the tip. I just had them fade it. Uh, kind of gives you more more white on the nose. That was just a personal change. Uh, everything I had them leave the decals off. I'm probably gonna put some decals and stuff on myself. So, um, but uh, yeah, that's it. Not much as far as assembling wise. It's not like a scale jet where there's tons of crap to put together. Uh, but uh, like I said I'll uh, I gotta finish laying everything out. Look over it. Get, look, make sure I didn't miss anything. And uh, I will uh, start getting to the getting get to working on it. Um, I've been uh, I'll be posting all my videos to YouTube like I did before. Um, I got a channel uh, that I've had, and if you look on the left side of the page, you'll see all the builds will be listed there. So if you want to, you know, subscribe or whatnot, that's fine. And also, I have a, um, a Facebook site which I'll kind of post pictures and stuff on and kind of link to YouTube. So, uh, but you can get to either one from both pages. They both have a link. Uh, if you're up for that, um, I may post it on uh, uh, RC Universe. I don't know. Don't know if I want to do that again. Uh, but anyways, you guys take it easy. Uh, really excited about this one. Be my first project since deployment, returning home, and uh, I think it'll be a good one. It's like a nice solid jet, so shouldn't be uh, any surprises. Uh, if I find some things that I may want to beef up, uh, I'll be sure to include that in the build. And if I find anything else during this initial inspection, I'll let you guys know. But until then, you guys take it easy. And, uh, yeah, take it easy. Later.